Governance as Code is a modern approach to managing policies and compliance through code. It's a shift from the traditional way of handling governance, which relied on manual processes and documentation. With Governance as Code, you automate governance tasks, ensuring that policies are consistently applied across your systems, without the risk of human error. At its core, Governance as Code involves writing policies in code, often using a declarative language and automating their enforcement. Whether it's managing security, compliance, or operational procedures, Governance as Code allows you to define the rules once and automatically apply them across all environments. Why is Governance as Code important? First up, consistency and standardization. With Governance as Code, you can ensure that the same rules and policies are applied across your entire infrastructure. This reduces the chance of errors or gaps in compliance, as everything is enforced automatically. Then there's agility and scalability. Traditional governance methods are slow and resource heavy, but when governance is automated through code, tasks that once took hours or days can now be done in minutes. It also means you can apply governance policies quickly and efficiently as you scale. Another big advantage, compliance and risk management. Governance as code makes it easier to track changes, monitor policy compliance, and respond to risks. You can detect potential issues early and take steps to mitigate them before they turn into real problems. Plus, Governance as Code fosters collaboration and transparency. When policies are written in code, they're easier to share and review. This means different teams can work together more effectively, ensuring that governance is everyone's responsibility and not just the security or compliance teams. And finally, continuous improvement. Because governance policies are treated like any other code, you can iterate on them, use version control to track their changes, run automated tests, and continuously refine your policies to stay in sync with your business needs. Challenges with governance as code. Of course, implementing governance as code isn't without its fair share of challenges. First, defining the right policies can be tricky. You'll need to make sure you cover all the bases, regulatory requirements, security standards, and operational guidelines. This requires collaboration between various teams to get it right. Translating those policies into code can also be complex, especially if your team doesn't have experience in coding governance rules. You might need to work with multiple programming languages and tools, which can be a learning curve for teams used to more traditional governance models. Then there's the need for version control. Managing governance as code means tracking changes, reviewing them, and keeping an audit trail. This ensures that you can roll back the previous versions when necessary and maintain accountability throughout the process. Another hurdle? Testing. You'll need to design automated tests to ensure that your governance policies are working as intended across different scenarios. This is essential for catching issues early and ensuring that the policies don't introduce new problems into your system. Integrating governance code into your CI-CD pipeline is another challenge, requiring tight coordination between development, operations, and security teams to ensure governance policies are applied consistently without disrupting your workflow. Lastly, you'll need robust monitoring and alerting systems in place. This will help you catch privacy violations, generate alerts, and give you insight into your overall governance posture. How to implement governance as code. Implementing governance as code starts with clearly defining your governance policies. This means identifying which rules and constraints you need to enforce, whether it's around security, compliance, or operational guidelines. Next, you need to map those policies to code. Translate each policy into a code artifact, whether that's a configuration file, script, or declarative template. Each piece of code should represent a specific governance rule that can be applied automatically. Tools like the Open Policy Agent and Cloud Custodian provide frameworks for coding these policies. Use version control to manage your governance code. This allows you to track changes, review updates, and collaborate with your team. It also makes it easier to roll back to a previous version if something goes wrong. Implement automated testing to ensure that the governance policies work as expected. These tests should cover different scenarios and edge cases, helping you catch issues before they become problems. Finally, integrate your governance code into your CI CD pipeline. This automates the enforcement of governance policies throughout the software development lifecycle and make sure to set up monitoring and alerting systems to detect policy violations and notify you when something needs your attention. 
How Harness Helps with Governance as Code Managing governance as code can become overwhelming, especially as your system grows in complexity. That's where Harness comes in. Harness provides an end-to-end -end solution for integrating governance policies directly into your CI-CD pipeline, automating compliance, security, and operational checks. With Harness, governance policies are managed just like code. They're stored in Git, which allows for easy version control and auditability. This ensures that any changes to governance policies are tracked and can be rolled back if necessary. Harness also automates progressive governance. This means that governance policies can be rolled out gradually, similar to how feature flags work for application features. This allows you to test governance policies in a controlled environment before applying them to your entire system. In short, governance as code ensures that your policies are applied consistently, automatically, and transparently, giving you the control and flexibility you need to maintain compliance, security, and efficiency across your infrastructure. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more insights on software development and security practices. See you next time.